everyone, it is Kim Chica, and I am excited to bring you another episode of Franbo. Um, I actually played this a little bit and forgot to record because I was just really stoked and excited about wanting to find Mr. Midnight. So let me give you a brief sort of rehash and update on where we're at right now. Uh, my bad, next time I won't forget. I'll have to like put a post-it on my computer, but I was just really excited about finding Mr. Midnight. Totally forgot to press the record button and lost an episode as a result, but that's okay. Um, so we fell into the well the last time I recorded with you guys, and it turns out that the crazy house that was in the well was uh, inhabited by conjoined twin sisters, and they had captured Mr. Midnight for the use of a ritual spell to try and separate their bodies. And it looks like the guy who's been haunting me, the one with the goat horns, um, I think he was the one who conjoined them in the first place. So they were threatening to kill me and Mr. Midnight if I didn't help them with their spell. I pulled a little switcheroo on them and I did a spell that destroyed them instead. So that allowed me and Mr. Midnight to escape. And we made a new friend on the way, Mr. Frog, and he's the one who gave us a ride across the ocean. Long story, but their, their house was on an island. So he gave us a ride back to the mainland. And so now we're trying to find our way back to Aunt Grace so we can live a happy, normal childhood, free from insane asylums and weird killings of beetle pigs and p baby bi pine cones, all that fun stuff. So yeah, here we go. Um, Frambo, continue. So yeah, we just said goodbye to Mr. Frog. So here's Mr. Midnight. Oh, Kitty, what will be the first thing you do when we get home? Eat, of course, eat until I fall asleep. And you, hee <laughs> hee, I think I would like to do the same wise child this one all right here we go oh that was weird not a creepy bridge at all oh dear <laughs> this bridge looks pretty scary oh Fran come on we have to go home there's no time to be afraid now yes but I'm a bit afraid of heights um I can go first all right then you follow me all right kitty you're so sweet I will be right behind you all right, Mr. Midnight, there we go. I will follow. You also weigh like 10 pounds. I probably weigh like 80. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fran, wait. Wait. <gasps> oh, get away, get away. Oh, it flies. I've never seen it fly before. Oh, my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. I'm crying blood. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. Jump. All right, here I go. <gasps> oh, I got you. My cat is so strong. Oh, no, my cat has no thumbs. That's why Mr. Midnight couldn't hold on to me. Friend, no. Oh, and you. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, excuse me, we will always rise. Oh, is that my aunt? My mom? Oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You'll just leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Blood, tears. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Get away. <gasps> mm. Whoa, 
Either Fran turned into petals. What's happening? Wake up. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Why, oh, Mr. Midnight? Fran's shoe. Fran's just. Oh! Oh my gosh, this is a face! Ah, what an ugly tree! I'll scratch you, evil thing! Kitty? Kitty, stop it! What are you talking about? Fran is a tree! Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be! You're so ugly! <laughs> what is it, my dear? Of course it's me! Who else would I be? Fran, you're a tree! Don't be silly! Help me get up! Would I lie to you? Wait, just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've become a tree. What? But how? My dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, the night Mom and Dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you're a tree, my friend, a tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. <laughs> oh. Hamka igni mahaula. Kulke kulke igronma. Paksu halani. Ah, what are they saying? Igni Joko, Vanti! Get away! <gasps> ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Haula, Koke! Haula! Stop it or I'll scratch you, you root! Haula, run ma Igni! What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Haula! Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm. Hola, Igni Vanti. Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. See what I can do, Fran. Did you find the purse? No. Where's the purse? I have no idea, but do you remember my mother's purse? Well, that one. Okay. I'll find it, my dear. I'll be right back. Ah, there's the purse. Let me just use this contraption here. Ta-da! Oh. Hmm. I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. I wonder if I could use one of these rocks to... Darling, I got the purse. It's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the sir who is attacking me in my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Maybe. I don't know. Oanum, Mihauka. Ah, Ranma, Paskin Otau. Oh, nope, that didn't have the reaction I want. Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Ukrunma, Epo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Glupma, Glupma. Oh, flying boats. Chapter three. Vegetative state. Ooh. Oh? 
Hit men bau men ka men no case be zayer ni haula onam Urshmau iptem gorska emitan ulfriol gorska zero Welcome creature my name is Zyre. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Ride told me you showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Ho 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 ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. Iptem monachist ecto, ecto bro, ecto prot. Oh! Ouch! I am a strawberry tree. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow fam family tree. Ah, your name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love toward this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Very interesting. You can see all that? In a seed, strawberry seed. Be quiet. I see something else. The sea doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You are not supposed to be here, friend. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. Can you help me? I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should have never been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die, even if your body still walks. Help me get back home. And I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What's your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home. I implore you. Uh, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha 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 ha. You are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Itherstu. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They are pretty. Please, King Sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir, but the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see you are very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? We'll talk about that later. Later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand, but not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? 
I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And, sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now, it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? Depends on the height. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Ooh. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs. Everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, Fran. I love you. Okay. Mm, bye! I'm just planking around. Oh! Such a graceful beetle. Oh! Hi, Falcor's distant cousin. Good day, my name is Palantras, and I'm your doctor today, at your humble service. Are you the emergency case? I guess so. Wow, amazing, what a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing! Fluffy thing! Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran, I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Ah, human! I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? Uh, what beast? Me! I'm the beast! Let's go! Okay! Yeah! So pretty! Bloop. Here we are! Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Velokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Great Velokas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly. His heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to Itherstha, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Wow, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about the other realities. And how is it that you are here? What brought you to Itherstha? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge, and he wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong, they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. It is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But, Blondra, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to Itherstha, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door opened, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. There is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. Oh, I made him cry. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Okay. Hmm, yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water. Water. 
Give Fran her arms and legs. <gasps> See the moon! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> How do you feel, Fran from Itherstep? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. This water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dern. But he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. Yeah! Pew, 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 pew! Alright, here we are again. Show Zyra the King what a nice, nice Ithersthenese you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Ah, oh, you fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? Haha. -ha. Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Ooh, let me see you. What a great other sinews you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palantras will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one able to bring you your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Ah, you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Kotrum. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Ithersta day, and good luck finding the great wizard. Oh, hi, Polontress. Bye. Wow, did you see that huge, fluffy creature, kitty? That's Polontress. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. Yeah, we don't need those pills. We have to find the wizard. The king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Kotrum. The great wizard lives there. Let's go! Cool. Yeah, so we're all ready to go. We're done here. I think next time we'll hopefully go to the wizard, Wizard of Oz style, and get our body back and get back home to Grace. And yeah, awesome. Okay, well, I will see you guys later. And next time, I won't forget to press the record button. So hopefully this will be the last of a jump in the narrative. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.